Hey gang, we have uh, we're on spring break this week, like I mentioned last video. Oh, oh. oh there goes Pig. <laughs> <laughs> so obviously we've got Pig. Pickles is running around somewhere. Mm -hmm. <laughs> what are you doing? But we are at the Grapevine RV spot. And we've been here before and, and gang, if y'all are anywhere near North Texas, this is a phenomenal little RV park. This is probably the best RV spot here at the park. I think we booked it about six months ago. So kind of let me uh, show you where we're at. We're on a, we're at the very end of a loop. So we got the rig, flying old glory, and then you'll notice what's below that. Pretty cool. We got my Starlink going on up there, but we got a dock, a pretty much a private dock. It's right there. We got the kids playing way across the lake. We got the marina right here. We got pickles. We got pig. And we've got a really big concrete pad with a built-in fire pit. Pad is dead flat, other than front to back. Didn't have to, to chalk anything, didn't have to raise up. It's just everything about this side is just nice. And uh, we're here for longer than usual because the, it's the kids' spring break again. So uh, I think this is going to be a cozy little trip. Everything's set up. I am wasting as much data on wi-fi as i can because i'm paying for it so we've got tvs going in the rv that we're not even watching got all the phones hooked up to it but i think it's going to be a really really nice trip the weather's absolutely perfect 74 degrees not really windy so it's going to be a good trip so um the only problem is the kids had to ride their scooter all the way around the rv park to get just to right there so as the crow flies the kids are really close but if anything were to happen we can't get to them really quickly so I've been using my long camera telephoto lens to spy on them, but I bet you once Ella gets hungry, she'll be coming she, back. She's gonna be coming back saying she's hungry. We need like a portable backpack. We, we need we need to send her off with um what is it called? Like, like an meals? MRE? Like not like, but like we need to send her off. <laughs> she needs an MRE with food. <laughs> well, anyway, gang, we're gonna finish up here enjoying my wine which is somewhere i don't provisions. know provisions we need to send her off with provisions yeah because jake doesn't care no he won't eat until next week he might get thirsty yeah that's it well stay tuned folks i don't know what kind of trouble we're gonna get into but uh we're just gonna enjoy being out here and relaxing relaxing and letting the kids play
Well, good morning, folks. Uh, day two of our little extravaganza. We didn't do a lot of filming last night. We were more worried about hanging out with the kids, enjoying spring break. So we're out here drinking some coffee now, and it's a little bit chillier than we thought it was going to be, but you can't really beat that view. I don't know what today's going to bring. Probably pretty much this. And, uh, come here, Piggy Boo. No one sees Piggy a lot. But I got up really early. I fixed my hair. Got ready for the day. <laughs> I walked around the park twice before you got out of bed. <laughs> Wait, three times. I was I slept good last night. You want down, you're shaking me. She's excited. Oh. Obviously, they're sleeping outside at night. <laughs> She's a mermaid! Ella, what are you doing? <laughs> <laughs> She's a mermaid! <laughs> Good morning folks or good afternoon I don't know it is day three I believe of our little trip uh, I think we went to bed last night at midnight it, it was late I don't know it was it was way too late it was way past our normal bedtime yeah so we overslept I'm still tired we got Bloody Mary's on the on the grill this morning Zing Zang is the best Bloody Mary mix you can buy so it kind of is fitting we're having Caesar salad 
And French bulldogs like to eat almost everything, including lettuce. Mm. So here you can see Pig's little injuries. So when Pig was a puppy, she had to get tail surgery because her tail was growing into her butt. <laughs> into <laughs> and, her body. Into her body. And we had to shave her back. And she was completely shaven for about two years. So she probably will never grow this hair back because it takes so long for her to grow it back. So poor thing's probably going to look like this the rest of her life. Uh. <laughs> look at those legs. discovered that cooking is way overrated when you have two kids and a camper. So we just bring pre-cooked meals from home and we got wild rice which is becoming my favorite and then Tara makes some type of creamy chicken concoction. I don't know, what do you call it? Uh, you know I don't even know. Yeah. It was like a recipe for creamy um, chicken soup. Yeah. But, but it's fantastic. It's we've turned it into kind of a rice dish. Shredded chicken, carrots. Lots of onions, yeah. garlic. And it's so much easier to bring this from home, stick it in the microwave, and call dinner done. Yep. Jake, you want some creamy chicken? Try you want to try it? Sure. Okay. So what do you think? Two minutes? Sure. And that's dinner. Couldn't be easier. Mm. It's a good cold? No. No. <laughs> <laughs> kind of our, this is our last night here, gang, and uh, we're just enjoying the weather. Beautiful sunset behind us. I don't know if you'll be able to see it, but uh, the kids are inside with their new friend watching a movie. We got mama making I, some kind of blanket. <laughs> yep. That's pretty. She's the crafty one, but it has just been crazy windy. I don't know if you can see the flags up there. Good morning everyone. We have survived spring break 2024. But I gotta tell you, I'm not, I don't like this time change. It's it's almost eight o'clock and that sun is barely poking up over the horizon. It sure does make getting up a little bit more difficult. Uh, but we gotta, as usual, got quite a bit of stuff to pick up and pack away and get this thing rigged up and hitched up to the truck and get the kids back home. They still got uh, a few more days left to spring break, but mom and dad, unfortunately have to get back to work this week so uh, it was great this this place that we stay at here locally is just absolutely a beautiful spot and uh we really enjoy it but overall everything worked really well this is kind of a test run for that stuff up there starlink worked great never had any any lag any buffering even during peak hours it did great <laughs> my flags didn't tear down with the 30 mile an hour winds so overall it was uh, I think a pretty successful little trip so 
I know we didn't film a whole lot of actual interactions, but mom and I were really kind of more worried about just hanging out with the kids, making sure they had a good time, right? So, and we did. Now I gotta start packing up all this mess. We gotta get on the road. Where's Ella? In the bathroom? No. Oh, okay. Why? Oh, well, because I cleaned the tanks, so. Gang, that's that's a wrap. Our dogs just our dogs are ready to go home. Come on. It's kind of funny. Everyone is is just exhausted, I think, after this trip. Two nights out, or two oh, nights of on. staying awake past midnight is something that we don't typically do. And uh, the kids slept until almost nine o'clock this morning. So, do you have fun? You ready to get home? Yeah. Okay. So overall, really nice spring break little trip. So, I think we're just gonna tidy things up here and get it roadworthy and head home. So, we will see you soon. Thanks for watching. Hey, bye, Ella. Who needs a diamond miner? Let's go, dude. That's amazing. <laughs>